Hello, this is Sophia Laijul, and I am an Empower Love Coach and a Life Coach Healer. And today I wanted to bring forward um, uh, some of the teachings or the lessons on the gifts of um, the alchemist. And this is one of my favorite books of all time. I, um, if you don't know, The Alchemist is from the author Paolo Coelho, <laughs> and um, years ago in my teens, I discovered one of his books, and actually the first book that I read is called The Fifth Mountain, and if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. And so right here, I'm bringing the lessons of The Alchemist, and I really resonate with a lot of his books. They all speak about soul journey. They all speak about a hero, a hero's journey, where you know you begin at home and you have to go through all these trials and these quests to discover, you know, the truth of who you are, that the treasure has been within you all along. And you know, so often we go outside into the world to just find out who we are and um through you know through trials and so on we discover our strength we discover our limitations and you know we connect with other people and we gain uh so much knowledge and wisdom through the experiences and connections with others because the world is our mirror and reflection and it's also the representation of the abundance of the world so I'm gonna bring a few videos with different gifts about the alchemist. If you haven't read it, don't worry because I won't share anything about the story. I'm just basically bringing like the golden nuggets here, uh, just the gold teachings of the book. And um, so if you haven't read it, please go and read it and it's a beautiful journey a beautiful story and there's just so many beautiful uh gifts that uh, the story brings and so the one that we are going to speak about today is fear is a bigger obstacle than the obstacle itself and the quote that i want to bring is tell your heart that the fear of suffering is worse than the fear uh, than the suffering itself so tell your heart that the fear of suffering is worse than the suffering itself and that no heart has ever suffered when it goes in search of its dreams because every second of the search is a second encounter with God and with eternity. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is such a powerful phrase. And um, it brings me back to a story of um, a woman that one day she's out traveling in this distant land and uh, she's loving every single moment that she's in this land. And one day she decides to go and explore this new area of this place and she goes into the jungle. And she's just so fascinated by every single tree, everything she's discovering along the way. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the jungle, she sees this beautiful horse, like a wild horse. And she's just like, oh my goodness, wow, this wild horse. And I'm having this and she is having this experience of just like, wow, this deep connection, you know, with some aspect of the divine, the, perhaps even the wild feminine or the wild masculine from sacred masculine and the sacred feminine within herself or himself. And so all of a sudden she feels scared as the horse begins to approach her. And... um in that process it was she was like oh this is so interesting how i am scared so she basically you know takes a photo and kind of runs away and kind of captures a moment and goes away back to her village where she was staying and when she goes back to where she's staying she's starting to look through the pictures and then she gets to the picture where she 
the horse got so close she took the the photo and ran away and when she starts looking at the picture of the horse she sees the beautiful face of the horse these beautiful eyes that there's a soul connection there and then right here on the forehead it's all brown and then right here is the white mark and the white mark was in shape of a heart and she starts laughing and she's like right she realized that fear was that created that separation and disconnection with the energy of love and there's also this aspect with the unknown and the wilderness within us that um, she was afraid of and so that was such a gift to her because love was there just looking at her straight straight ahead and she went off running so that was such a beautiful gift and i love this story i love this story because truly really that's what um fear does it disconnects us and contracts us and we begin to see through the lens and filter of fear that is basically saying i am not safe this experience is not safe so there you go into the fight or flight uh, response and um even even though you know your experience is like love connected it doesn't matter that's why sometimes you know people might go through a same experience and one person might feel like you know you'll hear the story of that experience and it's going to be all about excitement and perhaps the other person feels that that experience was dangerous to them it's all how we are observing and interpreting the world but it's going to create we create the meaning therefore after from the experience and so anyways i love 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 that story and so i bring the question to you as a way of reflection and um <laughs> i have my friend dog that comes to visit her name is freya and she's just right here waving at her tail so <laughs> um and um sorry i lost my train of okay so i bring you the question and just connect with the question when right you can do it right now just um you know bring your journal you can write the question and then you know at your own time you can answer it or you can answer it right now and the question to you is um, can you reflect of a time when uh, or how fear has disconnected you with the energy of love? When are the times when fear closes um, opportunities and closes the door to love and connection or to new opportunities perhaps? And so I wanted to stay with that question and just answer it at your own time and also the other piece that i want to say is that every time we embark in a new territory in a new experience there's going to be a sense of uh, uncertainty and so that's going to bring up uh, fear just like well this feels scary but in a way, you know that it's not the scary that is, you know, holding you back or um, keeping you stuck in a situation. It's actually you're moving forward with that fear and you're still expanding and taking action and moving forward. So knowing that every new situation is uncomfortable and sometimes the feeling of anxiety can be also uh, excitement and also that process of the learning curve, just going through the learning curve as you're expanding your comfort zone and the boundary of your comfort zone. You're also in an energetic way, you're expanding the vibrational frequency of your being and therefore you're opening to new experiences. So your vibrational energy, it's opening up as well. Perhaps your comfort zone was here, your energetic uh, vibration is here because the vibration is in direct alignment with the people, with your, with your everyday habits, with your routine, with the people that you see every day. 
with that, you're kind of creating a signature energy, like, you know, the energy that, or the channel that you always listen to, you know, like 7.7. And then when you uh, immerse yourself in something new, you begin to engage in a new uh, vibration. You begin to expand your vibration. You begin to open to new opportunities. You begin to see different people. You begin to have different routines as well. Sometimes too, that's why when you go on a holiday, um, you might feel so different and expansive because you literally immerse yourself not only in a different environment and land, you also, everything has shifted and changed. And so um, I also wanted to bring that uh, kind of uh, tool as well, or that piece to keep in mind that when you, every time you step into something new, there's a natural process of uh, feeling something that feels scary and uncomfortable because you're basically stretching your comfort zone until it's fully integrated. So just as you are learning something uh, through your head and then it's fully integrated in your body, into your being, and then it becomes part of you. And so it doesn't feel um, scary anymore because it's, you know, you have become it um, and uh, it's a new norm to you. And so I just want to close with a light language transmission. And this light language transmission is to surrender fear or release control and release fear and surrender into the energy of life and abundance and love in love. So the transmission is release control and fear and surrender into the energy of life and abundance from the energy of love. Okay, so let's dive right into the light transmission and let's bring both feet into the earth. Bring both hands into your heart. Let's take a deep breath in into the heart center. Mm, let's breathe in and breathe out for a few times. Connecting to your physical heart and from your physical heart opening to your sacred heart, your energetic heart. And allowing your inner channel, your inner light, the nature of your true essence to be here present right here in this moment through you. Your I am presence. And from this place, from this space, listening to this transmission, grounding deep into the earth and connected through your crown to your higher self and the larger aspect of who you are and at your heart connected with your divine being in your human experience from this space of I am presence. And we're gonna begin the light transmission of releasing control and fear into life and abundance through the energy and frequency of love. Remembering that you are held in this love. That you are safe. That you belong. You belong to yourself. Uno ayataya na sahire o alaya. Uno tayana sahia ya ranaya. Ania yo koa, ania yo koai. Uno atayama, uno atayama uai. Sahia le toyo, sahia le he. Toyo, humaya, humaya, tahia ye, tahia ye, humayo, 
Deep breath in into the heart, embracing yourself, welcoming yourself into your life, to your name, to your divine presence. And I thank you for taking the time for this practice for yourself and this time together. Ciao.